Hey everyone, what's up? How you guys doing? Today is all about my February hits and misses. So in these hits and misses videos, I just quickly talk about the products that I've been using this month that I liked and didn't like. And usually I take the products from my hauls that I do during the month and just to kind of update you and let you guys know how I felt about those products that I haul because you know how it is sometimes with hauls, we just kind of keep hauling and we don't do reviews. So, so that's why I like to do these videos just to update you guys on the products that I bought recently let you know what I thought about them and first I'm gonna start off with the hits because I have some really great products this month first up is the physicians formula custom nude palette for face and eyes I love this thing I have used it in a couple of my tutorials and get ready with me this month I think because I've just been using it every day I've loved this thing it is so great to use as a highlighter and you can also use it on your eyes so you can use it to highlight your brow bone you can use the colors in here for your eyeshadow there's just so many different ways you can use this so here's what it looks like it's just this cute little square it has this nice black lace packaging just like the other products in the nude line and this is in the shade natural nude this is the lighter one there is another one that's darker than this so here's what the product looks like up close and it is very shimmery every little square here has shimmer in it but it is more of a fine shimmer as you can see that is the light side and then here is the bronzy side both are just really gorgeous separately and you can swirl them around together to get this kind of mixture of the two colors right here. Next hit is this Queen Helene Cocoa Butter Face Scrub. I have been loving this. I bought this at Clark's. It's a nutritional grocery store type place and they have a lot of Queen Helene products. I think you can find these also at Walgreens, but I haven't seen it at mine so I'm not sure where else you can get it, but I love this scrub. If you can find it, definitely check it out. It does smell like cocoa butter, but it's very light. It's nothing overpowering and the scrub itself is like this fine texture to it it's not like a really thick scrub it's really just it kind of dissolves once the water hits it and I like that about it because it's not too rough for my sensitive skin I love the fact that it's made with cocoa butter because I feel like my skin is even a little bit more moisturized after I use this and it's just a great scrub it's been really working well for me I keep it in my shower and I just remind myself to use it and it's gonna last forever because this tube this is six ounces it's a lot of product and I don't scrub every day I only use it like twice a week maybe so it's really gonna last me a long time now my next hit is a Milani product and I was sent these by Milani for review and I've been testing them they sent me these about I want to say like three weeks ago now so I've been testing them ever since and they are the lip intense liquid lip colors the tubes look like this they're like this weird flat shape I'm not much of a fan of the packaging I think it's kind of tacky looking but that's just me and um, what you get is is I call these I would say these are a lip cream they want to say that they're a lipstick like I guess they're trying to say these are liquid lipsticks but they have more of a creamy texture and I did haul these a while ago so um, I think you guys have heard me talk about these before but just in case you haven't it's a doe fit applicator it has a really it has a really sweet scent it kind of reminds me of like vanilla cheesecake I know that's really specific but that's what it smells like to me I wouldn't say they're the longest wearing but I really enjoy these because of the way that they feel and because of the bright colors because you guys know I love bright lip colors here's the red one it's called red extreme look at that I mean it's just so pretty I've worn this red one before and I got so many questions on you know what I was wearing I have seen these at Walgreens for $6.50, I believe, so if you want to check them out, definitely go to Walgreens, and um, I will have a full review on these coming very soon. Another hit from Milani has been this clear brow gel. I actually bought this myself at Walgreens. It was like $5, and then they sent it to me, and I was like, okay. I really like this brow gel because the brush is so small. It's very short, which makes it really easy to just get in your I almost said lashes to get into your brow and it just sets it's not too wet it, so here's what it looks like it's just this little small tube and it's clear brow gel it'll match everybody's hair color I love this stuff five bucks Milani brow gel now my last two hits are both lip products first one is this Kate Moss for Rimmel lipstick it's their matte line and this is the shade 102 it's a really pretty everyday type pink it's it's like a neutral pink it's not too cool it's not too warm and I just just think it's a really pretty rosy pink I love it I've been wanting this for a long time but every time I went to Target where I usually buy my drugstore makeup it was gone so I finally found it at like a Rite Aid or a Walgreens or something and I think I spent a little more than I would have normally at Target but it was worth it because this color is so 
gorgeous. I can't believe I never owned it. I do have some of the other matte lipsticks from Kate Moss, but I really love this one because it's a really pretty just everyday pink, like I said. Here's a swatch of it, and it's really pigmented, and it's very matte. Here's 102. I really love this shade because I think it's very flattering, and also I love the matte finish that it has, but these Kate Moss lipsticks, they're not, they're kind of almost hydrating in a way. Like, they're not dry, and it's crazy because it's completely a matte finish, but the formula that these have is it really amazes me how good it feels on my lips these are definitely definitely worth it if you haven't tried these yet check them out because they are amazing the next product I have to show you is from Sonia Kashuk and it reminds me a lot of a lip butter I bought this because of Emily Noel 83 you know she's my favorite on YouTube and she has a full blog post on these she's mentioned them so many times in her videos and I finally decided to give one of them a try because she just kept talking about them and I was like okay they have to be good if she keeps mentioning them so I decided to get this shade it's called sheer rouge it's their only red one and I love the packaging first of all can we just like appreciate the sleekness of this I love it when you open it you get this little thing that kind of looks like a lip butter like you know that's what it reminds me of I'm wearing it right now this is just one layer and it feels so hydrating it's way more hydrating than a Revlon lip butter I love my Revlon lip butters don't get me wrong but this formula is like twice as luxurious it just feels so it just makes your lips feel soft and even when you take it off after you remove this your lips will still feel hydrated it's amazing this formula is so creamy but it's not slip it doesn't slip out of your lip line it just feels very luxurious i love it and you can layer it a little bit for more color but you're not really going to get any more pigmentation than that. There's only like four or five shades to choose from, and I really love this red one. You guys know red is my favorite, but I might go pick up the pink one because it looks really pretty for spring, and I, I really am a fan of these. I'm so happy that Emily has mentioned them because I would have never ever thought to try these because they are like $11 or $12 or something at Target. So now it's time for the misses. These are just products that did not work for me. I just did not like them and I, you know, I, I always give products multiple chances. When I test things out, I don't just try it once and say, oh, I didn't like it. And I've been using this stuff for about two, three weeks, some of it even longer than that, and I just didn't like it for multiple reasons, so let's just get right into it. First thing is this Freeman Facial Polishing Mask, the charcoal and black sugar one. I got a lot of feedback when I showed this in the haul. A lot of people said they loved it or they hated it. And I, it just like, it burned my skin. When I put this on, I, you know, I used it as a face scrub because it says you can use it as a scrub, just gently massage it into your skin. I did that and my skin started burning. Literally, my skin was hot and it just burned so bad like it felt like I had put a hot pan on my face like, so this just did not work out for me and I know a lot of you guys love it but it just personally made my skin feel like fire so it did not work next up is the physicians formula eyeliner trio it's called the sexy booster ooh la la sexy eyes trio and it comes with three different eyeliner products it comes with a pencil a cajol pencil type thing and then a liquid eyeliner pen I just did not like any of these liners and it's weird because I love their other uh, eyeliner sets that they've put out in the past. I have so many of them. But this one, these eyeliners, they all have a vanilla scent to them. And it kind of burned my eyes. And I'm like, why the hell would they send an eyeliner? So the Kajal one was the blackest of all of them. This one was my favorite of the three. And here's what it looks like. It's very black, very intense, and smooth. Um, I do kind of like this one, but it smells like vanilla. And it just, it bugs me. I like vanilla, but it just stung my eyes. This is the pencil. It's kind of like the same formula as the Kajal, but it's not as black. There's the pencil right there, and it's a little bit harder. It's not as smooth. It's okay, but like I said, it kind of stung my eyes. Not a fan. This is the pen. Now, this is not that black at all. I don't even get why they had this in the sec. I didn't like this pen because it's watery, and who wants watery eyeliner? Because I know I don't. This thing is just not good, like straight up not good at all. And I've heard good things about Physicians Formula eyeliners, the pens, but I don't think this is one of them. It's just not... I don't know, the tip is very small. It would take me forever to do my eyeliner with this anyway, but I did try it and I just didn't like it because it's not that black. Here's the line on the end. And just compared to the other two liners, you can see it's not very dark. And I think the packaging is really cute. I love the red and black. 
you know, the whole sexy thing. I think that's cute, and I do like some of the other sexy booster products, but this was just not one of them, and it was like $13, and that's a lot of money, and it just, no, this was just a no for me, definitely a miss. Next up are some more eye products. They are from L'Oreal. This is the limited edition L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in the shade Turquoise Crush. This is their new collection. They have quite a few new like colored mascaras and eyeliners. And this is, I thought this color would be so awesome. I thought it would show up the way that it looks. And I tried and tried and tried to layer it to get this color that it shows. It doesn't work. It does not want to give you this color. It's like a really, the formula is like really thick and gooey. It's not the same as the original Voluminous at all. I don't like it. It just didn't work out for me and I don't like colored mascaras that I have to layer a lot to get the color. So this is the eyeliner that was supposed to coordinate with the mascara that I got. This says it's just the shade blue. It's the extra intense L'Oreal pencil eyeliner. So it's just this little pencil and it is nice, like the formula doesn't tug but it's just a dark blue eyeliner. It's nothing special. I have so many eyeliners that look like this. It's like, why did I buy this? This was also like 10, nine, ten dollars And I was like, um, no thanks. It's nothing special. And the back has this little rubbery silicone-y, I don't know, thing to smudge it out with. It just wasn't special. Like there was nothing worth ten dollars about this eyeliner i have jordana eyeliners that are like three dollars that are prettier colors than this that stay longer this thing it, it didn't even last very long on my lids i i was just like just just no just get out and my last misses are from rimmel these are the scandalized eye paints what are they called yeah eyeshadow paints and they're kind of like liquid eyeshadows and mine are just watery and they didn't work well on their own like I, I they're supposed to be worn on their own they're supposed to last all day you know whatever no they did not last all day I mean they did look kind of okay if I really worked with them like let's say I put a shadow primer underneath layered this on top then put some powder shadows on top I can make them work but when a product you know claims that it can be worn alone why the heck should you have to work so hard to make it work like with products like that I just don't like keeping them because to me it's not worth it I'll never use them you know what I mean so these were a miss for me and I know that these came out in England a while ago but they just landed in the US and I was just not impressed like I think they were only five bucks each so it is pretty cheap but I think Maybelline color tattoos run for around the same price and those are phenomenal so definitely a miss on these I got the shade rich russet and chestnut avenue and they are pretty colors but like i said they're just watery i think the whole application i don't know i just did not like how they applied here's this one called chestnut taupe and i just don't like it when you spread it out it gets even more sheer so there's chestnut taupe and then here's the rich russet and they're just not that pigmented and then you know when you blend them out they just kind of sit there like I just didn't go for these they weren't they weren't the best formula they were cheap and all but I just you know they're just a miss I would never recommend them so that's it for February hits and misses and I hope you guys found this video to be helpful because I I really like to talk about the things that I haul. Just please keep in mind that this is my opinion. These were my experiences. I know that some of you guys love these products that I didn't like, but that's just, you know, my experience with them. They didn't work for me. I hope you all understand that. And, um, you know, maybe the products I like you don't like. So everybody's different. Everybody has different experiences with different products. So just kind of throwing that out there because whenever I show things I didn't like or that I like, you know, I always get people saying, oh, why didn't you like it? And it's like, I told you why I didn't like it. It just didn't work for me. And, you know, it's as simple as that. And please feel free to let me know about your guys' hits and misses. I would love to hear about products that you guys have tried out because sometimes, you know, I look in the comments and a lot of you will give me suggestions and I'll go pick those up for my next haul and show them in my next hits or misses. So definitely let's talk about some makeup and let me know what you guys loved, what you didn't like. I love to hear opinions on everything, not just, you know, I am that person who likes to talk about things that didn't work for me. I don't like to bash products, but I do like to let people know how I felt about them. And I think that negative reviews are just as helpful as positive reviews, you know. Sometimes people get like really, really into negative reviews and like they get mad at me for them, but you know, I'm just here to tell you guys what I felt and what I experienced. So it's just like, it's I never understand those people who get pissed off or mad about negative reviews because it's like, I didn't personally attack you. I'm just 
just talking about why this product didn't work for me and I just think that's ridiculous. So, um, you know, you'll always hear negative and positive reviews from me because I think they're both equally important. So definitely let me know your thoughts and as always, thank you so much for watching.